Donning feathers with Kool-Aid is extremely simple. It relies on some straightforward acid-based chemistry. So I'll show the steps to go through here. Now, the first thing you want to do, especially if you're starting off with wild turkey feathers, is to clean them off. And a good way to do that is just to wash them in some water and dish soap. Let them soak for a little bit. Then you want to rinse off the suds. We'll be dyeing the feathers in a slightly acidic solution and the soap has a basic chemistry. So having that dish soap tag along will only serve to neutralize the dye bath, which isn't what we want. Okay, so I'm gonna go rinse off these feathers. Now that I've rinsed off the feathers, they're ready for the dye bath. First add the Kool-Aid, which in this case acts as an acid dye. The color molecules will come out of solution and bond to the proteins in the feathers. And what helps aid in a reaction like this, as I said earlier, is to make this bath a little bit more acidic. And we can do that by adding some vinegar or citric acid or whatever you might have on hand. So I'll just add a splash of that. The acidic solution makes protons bind to the proteins, which actually makes them more attractive to the dye molecules. So go ahead and mix this solution up. And now add the feathers. Now, in order to speed up this reaction, we'll add heat. A microwave will work fine. Since the feathers float, I like to microwave for a couple minutes on one side, flip them over, and microwave another couple minutes to get full coverage. Let the dish sit in the microwave a few minutes after finishing. All right, so I've gone ahead and microwaved the feathers, so we can take them out at this point. Start to dry them off. Now, if you take a look at the feathers and they're not quite as bright as you'd hope they'd be, there's a couple things you can try. One is to add more heat by putting them back in the microwave. The other is to add more reactants, add more Kool-Aid. That'll help push the reaction to the right, as they say in chemistry, and give you more dye on the feathers. I wanted to show you this with both a wild turkey feather and a domesticated white feather. Reason being, you're going to get a really nice dramatic effect with these feathers that start out white. With a wild turkey feather, because you start off with all these naturally dark bars, you're not going to get quite that dramatic effect. White areas will take the dye, but the dark areas won't change much. So this should give you a good idea of what to expect when using Kool-Aid as a dye. One other thing to note, these feathers don't look very nice right now because they're still wet. Once they dry out, I'll be able to fluff them up to their normal shape. Hope that was helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe.